I want to show you how to create how I created the ruffles for my turban cap it can be in two ways it can be attached permanently to your turban cap or it can be detachable so I'm going to show you how to so this is my cap that I've made I have the procedure ready so please watch the procedure in the previous video I sent this is what is left from the one yard of mesh fabric I started with after making my cap so I have here satin alright I'm using the exact color of this uh, mesh this royal blue but if you use any other color it might actually be seen from the outside now from what is left of the one yard of fabric I cut out this the measurement is 8 inches by the length 60 inches this way 8 inches by 60 inches you know the length of a fabric is usually 2 inches to 60 inches depends on the fabric so this is about 60 inches so i didn't alter that part i just cut out the width which is 8 inches it depends on how full you want your ruffle to be you can make it longer that you cut another exact measurement of 8 inches by 60 or by any length maybe 30 and join it to the hedge here for you to have it longer okay well i'll be working with this so this is what we're going to be doing to this i'm going to fold it this way this is the wrong side this is the wrong side of the fabric so i'm going to fold it this way like this like this and i'm going to sew i'm going to stitch the ends together from this end like that like that all the way down okay so i'm going to keep that aside now for my satin fabric i also did 60 inches length by the measurement 5 inches 60 inches length by the measurement 5 inches so we are going this is going to be like a rope we are forming a rope with this so i'm going to fold it like this any part can be facing up with the wrong side of the fabric facing up i'm going to fold it like this like in form of a bias strip fold it like this in form of a bias strip can you see and i'm going to fold it over okay i'm going to take this to my sewing machine now and i'm going to sew from this end like that i'm going to do the folding like that till i get to the end of the fabric and i'm going to sew now i've sewn my strips like that all the way down remember to sew by half an inch okay i have this also the satin i've sewn it like that to form something like a rope so we're going to turn this inside out okay i just turn it inside out like this to bring the right side out The next step is for us to insert our satin strip into the mesh net uh, strip. So we are supposed to use an, a, an office pin, but I, a safety pin I meant to push it down, but at the moment I can't figure out where it is. So just use a safety pin to push it in. I'm just doing this because the mesh net uh, fabric is wide enough to take my fingers in. But please use a safety pin, it's better and then uh, faster. So I'll just push it down like that till I get to the first, till I get to this end. So I have it here. I'm going to pin this down so that it doesn't move away. like this so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine now can you see where i put in the rope it's not exactly on the edge of the mesh net fabric it's a little bit away from the edge okay so i'm going to fold the edge over it the edge of the mesh net fabric like this like this and i'm going to stitch Okay, so I'm going to sew it from this end to this end. Now, this is what I have. On this end, I've secured the strip to it. 
so i have it like this i'm going to drag this to form my ruffles so this is it like i said earlier it depends on how wide you want your ruffles to be mine is just going to be this i'm okay with this okay so on this end i'm going to cut off this excess rope and i'm going to repeat the same procedure as i did the other hand if you don't want it too full you can just uh, free it so i'm just going to cut this and then um, secure it like that to this end so now i'm done with the ruffles and our ruffles is going to sit right here it could be on the front of your turban cap or it could be on the side okay if you want to make it permanent just bring this end together and secure with your needle and thread like this invisible tacking you know just place it where you want to place it place it on your mannequin head to get what exactly you want to place it you understand if you want it to be on your left please do that and attach it like that to your cap okay you can also place it on the middle or the center front of your cap if you like i'm going to be making this a detachable one so i'm not going to be attaching it to my cap permanently put it on as a headband or you can put it on your turban cap so i'm going to be cutting out another strip which i'll be using for the headband but before then measure your ruffles this is about 12 inches for our ruffles okay so for an head circumference of 22 inches for example for me my head circumference is 22 inches so we move 12 inches from the 22 inches it will give us 10 inches so for what is going to be left that will be placed here we'll have about 10 inches then we'll have our seam allowance for each side that's the joining here and the joining here we'll be doing half an inch half an inch here so that makes it 11 inches because it is not so stretchy you can have half an inch so that it will be easy for you to put it on on your head so we're going to be cutting an extra strip which is going to be 11 and a half inches if your head circumference is not exactly like mine please work with your head circumference okay, i'm cutting that from the stretchy part of the fabric so this is the stretchy part can you see so we're going to be cutting our band okay and then for me i'll be making my six inches six inches plus seam allowance half an inch so that's six and a half inches by eleven and a half inches like i said eleven and a half inches i'm going to cut that out six and a half by eleven and a half inches i've cut it out as you can see let's take this at the right side so from one end like this i'm going to place it this way i'm going to sew it like this just take it through like this and tack with my needle and thread just tack it around not for neat finishing purposes So I just tack like this. Sure, you tack it very well to secure it. So you bring this when you get here leave this allowance this one for us to secure these two together you understand so you tack and don't tack this down this side this edge here don't tack it down to the ruffles okay the same way you bring this one and don't tack it down so that we can have allowance to hold it so let me just hold it with my pin so that you can see So I just finished tacking the rest like that. So 
So can you see this is what I have after tacking. So I bring this one to this side the same way I'm going to tack. Okay. See what I did. Take it back to how it was. Then you come to this side and do the same. Repeat the same procedure. Just going to hold this down my pin so that I will know that I don't need to tack this down. So I'll secure with my needle and thread the same way. Bring the at the end, make sure that this part falls on the line where you have this part too. I hope you understand. Let it fall on the same space. So I'll tack like that. Just find a way of squeezing this in and sew okay you sew from one end to the middle leave an opening here to turn our ruffles out you can just take your needle and thread through and sew from here to here leave an opening here continue sewing from here like this to the end you can use your needle and thread just sew through but well, using my sewing machine all right, as you can see, I have this opening. I've sewn it from here to here and from here to here using my same machine. So I'm going to use this opening. This opening is about four inches, four to five inches, okay? So I'm going to use this opening to bring out my ruffles carefully, okay? Like that. So this is what we have. I'm going to sew with our needle and thread, invisible tacking invisible tacking let me show you how to i'll pick this second layer this one why this one is folded over it i pick it from under like this i'm not picking this down part okay picking like that and i do invisible tacking and make sure that you are using the thread that matches the color of your fabric very well so that it won't show at all okay so I just take it through like this. I take it through this folded part. I take it through like that. I bring it out. I take it through the second layer from under like that. Invisible tacking. Just to make it neat as much as possible. I take it through. Look at what I'm doing. Like this. It's folded. So I just take it through the folded parts. And I pick this one take it through like that bigness one. so that's just how i'm going to tack i finished tacking like that can you see so this is what we have I'm going to trim off this excess stretch okay so now this is our cap on the mannequin edge these are cap. The mannequin head is smaller than the head circumference. So this cap can be worn like this without any ruffles. Or you can attach your headband. Okay, or you can attach your headband like this. Okay, you see, so your ruffles can be placed anywhere. It can be on the center front like this can be on the center front like this or you can move it to the side you can have it as an headband like this without the cap can you see can you see